Hey folks, Alan Saunders with Pittsburgh Sports Now, uh, and we're here talking with uh, four-star Erie Ford, William Jeffress and his family. William just committed to Pitt earlier today to the class of 2020. Uh, William, first of all, congratulations on your commitment to Pitt. Um, you had a top 10 of really um, some very good schools, uh, very good basketball programs. At the end of the day, what was it uh, that made you want to commit to Pitt and to Jeff Capel? Uh, you know, I just have a support system uh, right in my backyard. I got my family, got my friends. The city of Pittsburgh and their fans are really showing love towards me. Um, and that's just being close to home is really important to me. Uh, also, just Jeff Capel's belief in me. Uh, ever since sophomore year, summer, when uh, coaches were first able to call us, he was one of the first people to call me sat me down, had a 45-minute conversation about his vision even two years from now, um, talking about the player he saw me becoming, talking about how he saw the program growing and just his mindset on where everything was at. Um, he's been out to a lot of our games, um, and he's just – he's a guy that I really believe in because he believed in me before I believed in myself, and I was a – that was a really big part for me. So, you talked about your support system. Obviously, have your family with you today. Um, you know, what's it going to mean to be able to play in front of them just a few hours down the road uh, from your home in Erie in Pittsburgh? It's going to mean everything. You know, um, having my family behind me—my mom, dad, two sisters, Adrian and Jasmine, uh, my cousin Terrence, um, everybody else. Just having them, knowing that they're in the stands watching me, and they're proud of me. Uh, and who I am and no matter what happens uh, just really warms your heart and keeps you motivated to keep going. Um, also just being in uh, Erie, being close to home, then being able to drive up and visit me, me able, uh, drive up and visit them. It's just, uh, I can't even explain that. Just being close to home is one of the uh, biggest things that I've looked at in Pitt. Now, you got to take a, a real visit to Pitt. You only got to do some virtual visits some other places. What did you kind of maybe learn on that visit or, or what happened there that, that maybe sparked this connection uh, between you and, and the school? Um, while I was there, you know, I, uh, I was at the games. I've been there a couple times before, too. And just hearing the zoo and being around all of the fans and how crazy and passionate they are about their sports is really – uh, something that stuck to me. It's a place and an atmosphere that I would like to be in. Um, and also just the, the coaching staff and the program as a whole, uh, they've tried to create a winning culture. And um, I always wanted to be a part of a winning culture no matter where I go. And that was one of the biggest focal points for me. Um, being at the uh, visit, I also got to sit down with Coach Capel in his office and have a good heart uh, heartfelt long talk with uh my family right behind me and um everything that he said to the day he met me has um really just stuck he's been a guy who's true to his word he's a guy who is honest he's a guy who's going to help push you and just jeff capel and the coaching staff the program and the fans that's that's something that really stuck to me for for maybe some Pitt fans that haven't seen you play, uh, what do you feel like is maybe some of the strengths of your game and what do you feel like you're going to be able to bring to the team uh, this season? Um, just for people who haven't seen me play, uh, I'm a guy who can play the, uh, the one through four, but uh, I feel like I'm more of a wing player to the point where um, I can shoot, I can attack the basket off the dribble, I can facilitate and be a playmaker for my teammates. Um, I can rebound uh, well. I can uh, take advantage of mixed matches. And just if I have a smaller guard on me, I could uh, take him into the post. But at the same time, I can play in the low po or the, the high post to use that advantage. But at the same time, if I have a bigger guy on me, I can take him out to the wing, um, attack the basket, um, shoot over him and anything like that. But if you match me up with somebody exactly my size and my position, then um, still the same thing. I can, I'm a very versatile player, but um, I see myself on a wing. I see myself moving towards, as I grow older and develop my game, uh, trying to move more towards the guard position um, just to be a really big guard. You'll be 
you know, uh, after reclassifying to uh, 2020, you'll be one of the younger players uh, on the team and, and I'm probably one of the younger players in the ACC. Uh, what do you feel like uh, What was the, the big reason that you made that decision? And what do you feel like are going to be uh, some of the challenges as you go into, um, you know, playing against guys that are four and five years older than you? Uh, well, every, even ever since a, a young age, I've always played up. Uh, even in the EYBL, I was 15 playing 17U. Um, I just, I've always been pushed to play against older people and that's always helped better my game. So me reclassifying and going to the next level is just something that I've always done playing two years ahead of my grade. So this is like me staying on pace, staying on track with my plan ever since um, I started playing basketball because uh, I really haven't, deliberately played against my own age and that has always helped my game excel to uh where it's at and not only reclassifying on the basketball stage but i chose to reclassify academically because i've always been excelled in the classroom um along with the gifted programs national honor society and stuff like that um and i was in a position where i was able to finish high school um and that plan has been in the work ever since middle school and just having just being able to keep my options open to decide if I wanted to or not was something really important to me and my family and at the end of the day we thought it was the best thing for me to uh, continue to grow my game develop as a a, a player develop as a young man and um, just continue to um, uh, use my educator get my education at a higher level um, where I'm at now you've, I imagine this decision and this process has been taking up a good amount of your time. I know I've talked to you about it a couple times. I'm sure there's a couple other reporters and coaches that have been asking for your time. Uh, now that you made this decision though, uh, you know, you only have five months until you're a division one basketball player. What, uh, what do you spend your time on now to try to get ready for this season? Um, even with the circumstances we're in, uh, I have a court in my backyard. I got weights. I got treadmills in my, uh, in my basement. Uh, I got a family who pushes me and just my preparation, uh, out here in Erie has really came down to my trainers and, um, also my dad and just other coaches around me who have, uh, been able to keep me in the gym or keep me working and keep pushing. And um, that's got me to where I am today. And I continue or I plan on continuing to uh, do that with them just because uh, I like the progress that has always shown while I continue to put in my work. And um, also just being able to step onto the court um, for the summer, uh, the summer semesters uh, is really going to help me because I'm going to be able to work out with the team. I'm going to be able to work out with, uh, the coaches and just continue to develop my game. And I know I keep, uh, repeating the word develop, but that's the entire process of everything you do in life is development and just continuing to tell yourself that it's, you can always be better. So. Anything, uh, final for Pitt fans before we uh, let you go? Uh, I just want to say I'm uh, excited to embark on this journey and uh, hail to Pitt. William Jeffress, four-star uh, forward from McDowell High School in Erie, just committed to Pitt today uh, as the fifth member of its class of 2020. Uh, and Pittsburgh Sports Now will have more coverage on today's news and the rest of the class of 2020 uh, as it continues. Jeff Cable has one scholarship left to fill before basketball starts again in November. I'm Alan Saunders. Thanks to William and his family for joining us today and stay with PSN for all your pit news. Have a great day.